Hello everyone, welcome back to Credit. This is 45 day challenge of learn blockchain development and today we are in day 18th of this challenge. We have learned about many features and functionalities in Solidity language and we have created so many smart contracts so far. Yes, but not fully fleshed, but it may do work that we want to get done. And don't worry. If you are new to this, just follow along all the videos and gradually we will increase our knowledge base and learn a lot about Solidity smart contracts. So in today's video or day 18th, we are going to learn about some useful functions and special variables in Solidity. For this, just quickly open up your browser, which one you are using for the series. I am using Chrome browser and the ID of choice is remix and yes i have not talked about any other id or environment to learn solidity because this is the easiest one you can get started with okay so here is my remix id and if you remember from previous videos we have a folder named blockchain tute and here is all the smart contracts we have created so far okay so just I'm going to quickly create a file here, a new file, which I'm going to name as special because we are learning about some special functions and methods. There are not so many methods and functions, but some of them are very useful. So we are going to see them. And if any is remain, then we will see in upcoming videos or when we start working on the real smart contracts. Okay. So just create or you can say boilerplate for this just type pragma and press enter the remix id auto completes it and uh, i'm going to mention here the version which is 0 0.2 point uh, sorry 0 0.8.20 see you have typed a mistake and it says this version match current so it has updated uh, where is the compiler yes so it's updated for version 0 0.8.20 which means this will work on version 0 0.8.20 and all the versions released after this. So the default is switched to latest and which is 0 0.8.24. But if you want, you can manually switch it to 0 0.8.20. There is not a lot of difference between 2.0 and 2.4. Okay. So this is how we have written our basic Solidity Smart Contract boilerplate. Just open the file explorer, close this completely. There is no issue. I like to put a space here and now I'm going to write my contract. So just write contract and name it as special. I generally prefer to name the same as the file name, but you can write whatever you want. Just follow the basic naming conventions of Solidity contracts. And the similar thing like classes, the first letter generally we put as capital, but this is not mandatory, but highly practiced. Okay. So keep the first letter capital. And I'm just quickly increase the font size for clear view. Okay. So I hope now this is clear and visible to everyone. If we, someone watching on small screen size or mobile devices. Okay. So here we have our contract. And first method we are going to see about arrays or you can say string also. If you are coming from other programming languages, you may know about the length functions. The functions that return the length of our array or string. For this time, we are just talking about arrays, and this is also applicable to a string because you know what are strings. A strings are just character array, a array which contains characters. Okay, so in Solidity, we also have a length function which returns as the length of our array. For this, just quickly create a array here. I'm gonna name it uh, integer array for array just of size five and name it as air. So here we have declared our array. So here is our array, and to initialize our array, we are going to use constructor. So just let me quickly type constructor, which takes a argument of array type of length five, and we should have to mention it as memory. Okay. So what? Or just name it. So I'm gonna uh, 
uh, initial initial air okay so just initialize initial air to air okay so here we can see we have declared our array and also initialized it using the constructor which is the first method or function you can say which runs automatically when the contract instance is deployed or created okay so the our base part is complete now what we are going to see how to get the length of the array yes in this case you already know the length because this is 5 we have hard coded it but in a situation where you don't know the size of array then you can use the length function so i'm going to write a function here which return length uh, this is the name this takes no argument this is a public and view function view because this is reading from the state and we use pure when the function does not read from any variable at all so we have view pure and we generally don't write anything in case of uh, state changing functions but if the state changing function takes the native currency then we call it payable so keep this thing in mind and if you are not sure what I'm talking about just watch the video in series which says payable contracts and at all okay I mean pay with function so here we have function public view and which returns the you can say unsigned integer because length generally not goes into a negative okay so what we are going to do we just return air dot length okay so this is all about just a keyword says length this is actually a function which doesn't require uh, braces while calling so this is air and when you write dot length this will return the actual length of air so what we are going to expect we are going to expect a array of size 5 okay so just quickly test this implementation open up your deployment section select the smart contract and pass the initial array i'm going to pass for now just a complete five size array so this is our array transact here is our contract deployed just click on return length and now here you can see we have five return if this is too small just let me quickly increase the size here okay and decrease the size of this so here you can see this is a small return number says 5 which is the actual length of this array and because we have passed the size array so it will return 5 just quickly redeploy this and try to pass some different numbers or different length so i'm going to remove this two elements from here and click on transact and you can see this requires five size so you cannot pass a dynamic size here but in such a case where the array is not initialized or declared by you and you don't know the size you can use this length function to get the array size this is very useful okay just close this and drag this a little bit down and I'll just clear this console for now okay so this is what about a length function in solidity of array and you can use this same function for any string also okay uh, just quickly see about uh, what you can say string so just remove this from here name it as string name and we have to keep the memory and we can say new name we can also can call it initial name but just keep this thing as say that new name so we have name now just we have to write here a uh, name okay but you can see here we have the error which says length not found because you cannot use length directly exactly directly but you have to convert it to bytes so just write here byte and pass this as string and uh, this is bytes okay so now this will work and return the length of our just name it as string okay so just open this up uh, you can pass the name here I'm gonna say John Wick or whatever you can say deploy so this is 
फोर प्लस फोर एट एंड वन स्पेस सो इट शुड रिटर्न नाइन जस्ट क्विकली ओपन दिस एंड क्लिक ऑन रिटर्न लेंथ एंड यू कैन से वी हैव हेयर नाइन सो दिस इज हाउ यू कैन ऑल्सो यूज लेंथ फंक्शन इन स्ट्रिंग्स एंड एयर इज इन सोलिडिटी जस्ट ऑलवेज मेक श्योर टू कन्वर्ट दिस टू बाइट्स दिस इज ऑल्सो डेटा टाइप द इंडिविजुअल बाइट्स ऑफ स्ट्रिंग इज कन्वर्ट टू स्ट्रिंग एंड देन द लेंथ इज कैलकुलेटेड सो दिस इज हाउ यू कैन यूज लेंथ फंक्शन इन सोलिडिटी for array and string so i'm going to just quickly remove this and we are now going to see some special variables available in function calls in solidity and if you remember we have talked about some of those in previous videos like uh, block dot timestamp message dot value message dot sender so just quickly see all of these so i'm going to create a function here which returns special it just name There is no keyword. You can see the keyword first pop up is returns, but this is just a name return special. And we can change the return type according to the number we have seen. So we can write here public. Ah, uh, this does not going to read from state. So just write to for now view. We will update it accordingly. And this returns. Okay, so just returns the according to. For example, this time I'm going to say view info now. and this is returns not return so we have special functions or variables you can say we have first very useful special variable is message dot value and what this function is used for sorry i'm saying function but this is actually a special variable so this function returns the value of basic ether or other native currencies of evm based blockchains which is passed to this function for example we have to make this function payable and payable functions are not viewable functions okay so just store this in uh you can say amount and write it as this uh this is just a uh, unused a warning so don't worry about this we are just focusing on this special variable so what is going to return this is uh, the message generally refer to the message this is initiating and value is passed the value with this function call and we are storing this in amount and this returns a uh, unsigned in 256 based number so we are just storing it in and to eliminate the warning we can just return the amount here okay So this is fun variable which is used to get the message value or the ether amount passed with the function and always make sure this is in v the smallest unit in solidity or in general blockchain of evm based blockchains also and this is from 1 to 18 decimal places and ether which is the highest in this series has 18 decimals for example one eth in view is represented one and followed by 18 zeros okay so one eth is one and 18 zeros in v w e i so keep this thing in mind and we will see this every time we are dealing with smart contracts and solidity okay so now we are going to see our second special variable which is address so for this you have to just write here uh, i'm going to name it also as address which returns the caller address and we have also seen this in previous videos so just write address here and also this and we have to return a uh, address type okay uh, not address we are going to say user and just return the user not a uh, ha uh, it's sender not address sorry for that confusion okay so we have a special variable message dot sender which returns a address type based value and what does it return it returns the current caller of this function okay so you can use this function also now we have other very useful a uh, special variable which returns the timestamp if you remember in Uh, example i am not sure exactly in which one but we have seen block dot timestamp 
I'm not sure we have seen this before, but I'm just gonna show you the whole example. So for this we have to return and for now let's remove this paper. We don't require it. Okay, so also let's remove this. So we're going to see about block dot timestamp. This is also a special library which returns the current time of execution execution in Unix timestamp. Yes, I, I now remember that I've shown you about Unix timestamp and also a website from where you can convert your actual time to a Unix based time or can convert back from Unix to actual time in your local or the any other standard. Okay, so what you can say we can return block dot timestamp. Just uh, why this is okay, we have to write this pure or uh, not pure exactly actually it's the view. Okay. So what does this do? This return the current timestamp and this will return some values like you can say according time this is like a big number of the all the seconds from particular date. You can find more information, just search for Unix timestamp and you will get a better idea about this. So this is also a very special variable. And prior to this, generally we use uh, this also available a function which is now. Okay, why this not working here? Let me quickly see. Yes, because now has been deprecated. I've said this. We are using prior to this, but this is not more accepted, so we don't use this anymore. Okay, let's switch back to blog to timestamp. Yes, this is how you can get the current time of this. There are many more special variables in this list, like blog dot gas limit, which returns the current blog gas limit. We have blog dot number that returns the current block number. We have also guess left message data. Message data is generally the complete data we have seen in you can say uh, message dot value message dot uh, uh, what we can say address sender. All these things are also presented message dot data. So you can search and try all these special variables by yourself and explore and you will find something very useful. So this is generally all about a basic introduction and basic brief about special methods and functions in Solidity. I hope you have a clear understanding about this and if you want to learn more just watch the video from start. This is series and I provided the playlist link in the description below. Just go and check out and if you have any doubt just comment your doubt or any questions in the comment section. We will read your comment and try to solve problem with you. Okay. So this is all about for today. This is day 18th of 45 day challenge learn blockchain development in credit. So we will see you tomorrow with the next day update and some more topics on solidity. And if you can see we are gradually moving ahead to our complete blockchain development. And now after some videos, we will learn how to create front end the actual smart contract and integration all of this stuff. Okay, so this is all about for today. I will see you next day. Till then, stay safe.